everybody. How are you? It's Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio. And this is the second installment of ephemera making for my spring journal. Just before we get started, I know like I'll put my hands right here if I can if I can get it to do it. Now watch it won't do it. Sometimes, oh, there you see sometimes it pixelates like there's a line here. I don't know why. I've played and played with my camera, and this is the best I can do, folks. So let's get started. The heck with the line, okay? Um, this is what we're going to make. Isn't that cool? It looks very cool with a charm dangling on it. Isn't that adorable? Adorable. So that's what we're going to make. And I'm going to use two different tools. I'm going to use this, move it over here so you can see it, which is um, some jewelry making needle nose pliers. And this is um, a flattener thing from jewelry making as well. And I use it to help me keep a grip on this stuff. Turn it this way. I'm going to bring you in. A little bit closer. Please excuse my hands shaking. I had a cup of coffee mm -hmm. and I normally do not drink a lot of coffee. I've been trying to desperately, not desperately, but try to cut down on my caffeine intake because it's really not that healthy for you. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the tip, just the tip to the end as I can and then I'm going to take this I'm going to hold it tight just for some stability and of course I lost that end trying here oh criminy okay there we go Take it, and I'm going to turn it. So that we have it like that. Can you see that? Then I'm going to hold this again. And I'm going to come in. And I'm just going to continue turning that. And then pull it out. And we have a nice little loop there and of course I will take this and to flatten it so it's not sticking up at all anywhere so it doesn't look too funky oh if you want to fiddle with it go ahead not that big of a deal as long as it looks cute that's all that matters then I'm going to do the same thing to the outside I'm going to get in there and tight, pull this nice and tight, moving on me a little bit, so I'm going to try and get a better hold, turn it, now you have what looks like a J. I'm going to hold this again, and now I'm going to come up from the bottom, and I'm going to finish that off. There you go. And the good thing, the fun thing is, is that, yeah, you know, this one is probably, it is, it's a little bit smaller than this one, but you know what, who cares? They're not going to be, people aren't going to be looking at, looking at that saying one's smaller than the other. They're going to be saying, wow, that's really cool. So that's something that you can do to put, you know, on your ephemera, on the end of a page, on top of a page, something on, to clip something. It just makes it look a little different besides just a plain old, uh, plain old paper clip. And you can hang, you know, tie a piece of sari ribbon on the end of it. You can put 
before you bend it, you can put some danglies on the end of it. Something quick and easy that you can use in your journals. So let me get the next thing set up. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, the next thing we're going to make is a small little notebook that's going to hang sideways in our um, in our journal. And I'm looking for, there it is. I have a tray set up here on the side with just what I'm going to do. These are, I cut these all about the same size out of scraps that I had in my bag. I'm going to do, this is the back side. Now let me see if I can remember how to do this right. this flip over so sometimes you have to stop and think about things a minute before you do it so I the I know this is long. I will trim it. So I've got this on here like this. I've given myself plenty of room back there. I'm going to take I want to make sure that this is all straight. Well, as straight as it can be. Take my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, give it a one, two, three. So now I've got three good staples in through here. Now I want to cut this right down the side. That in my scrap bin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I've also cut this down to size. This is just a piece of file folder. Okay. Then I'm going to take a piece of waxed linen. This is what we use to sew our signatures in. And I know this is probably way too long, but I can trim it when I'm done. I need some tape. And I'm going to use, for a diamond style, a little bit of packing tape. I want to do is find approximately the middle of this. Put it just like right about there. I don't want it to go anywhere. 
never get this to work very well. And now, right about there, I tape that down. Probably not with dog hair in it. Sorry about that. <laughs> Likes to leave her mark everywhere. Okay. Now that I have my thread on here, I'm now going to take my this is this is this is all right hey memory don't fail me now this is fabri tac <laughs> <laughs> now i'm going to take my fabri tac and i'm going to glue this all onto this one piece of paper And part of the, the cool thing is that now those staples that are in there, well, they're not going anywhere. They won't cause any um, sharpness or it won't cause any tearing. A journal page. Which is really kind of important. Is that a good, a good rub? So you can see that the last page in my book attached to the card we're just going to tie it I'm not a very good bow tire so if it doesn't come tight sorry <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get that nice and tight. Little bow. There we go. Now here's a nice little booklet that I'm actually going to tie, I'm actually going to glue into my journal sideways. I think that's way cool. So that's one piece, that's another piece of ephemera that we can put in our journal. All right, I'm going to get ready for the next piece. Be back in just a second.